Aries, what's up for you? Okay, so one thing that's going on is there's this conjunction with Mars and Saturn that's taking place, and it's going to peak out on the 24th, but it's already close enough to orb. And I always say this is Saturn's a sign of freeze and stop, and uh, Mars is a sign of burn and go. Now, Mars is exalted in the sense that it's in the constellation of Scorpio as we look in the sky, even though we know it's in the sign of Sagittarius and Western, it's not in that constellation. You know, as we're looking at it, it's in that Rishi. So there is this essence of um, wanting to be real and get to the depths of everything. And I think both Virgo and Scorpio, when you try to deceive those two signs, they're very perceptive signs, both of those signs things do not go well for you because first of all they know what you're up to second of all they're going to do the investigative work afterwards and make you look like you're cray cray or an opportunist or something so there is something to consider with this so we all owe somebody something and when you have saturn you know has mars has already transited your eighth house right now mars and saturn are in the ninth and it's like this is the house of an exotic lesson and so part of it is stopping, part of it is going, part of it is being mature, Saturn, part of it is being physically strong, Mars, part of it is being independent with uh, Mars, and the other part is obeying the law with Saturn. So this is part of your adventure to work with these energies while everything's kind of in a Uranian up, up you know, t tizzle, it's bizarre. And um, 